Good afternoon, good afternoon. I'm loving this cut, but this ain't what this video is about. <laughs> um, so, I want to talk about my weekend. Well, I'll start with today, obviously, because that's really what brought me to this video. So, my son had a prime yesterday. Well, let me say, I had a rough day trying to get my son to have his prime successful yesterday. It didn't turn out perfect like I always wanted it, but it did turn out in his favor. And I got some beautiful pictures from it, and I got to have that conversation with my oldest daughter today because of yesterday and her people, so... This video is like a recap of my my weekend. So yesterday, as I was beginning, my son had a prom. And his peoples came. Well, one of his peoples on his daddy's side came. His auntie came and she brought his two cousins, her son and the other, uh, her niece, the other sister daughter. And... I don't know how the conversation went, but my oldest daughter took her little cousin to the bathroom. And on their way out, the little girl told my daughter that she was supposed to take pictures of my house. Which struck my daughter is weird. Because she like, why would they want to take pictures of our house? So today we had that conversation of why they would want to take pictures of the house. And I can only think of one reason why. They're trying to get dirt on me to, so they can feel some type of way about me. And it's not working. Because I put my truths out there. There's nothing to hide. I, they, all they got to do is go on YouTube. They want to know what's going on with my life. I'm not putting it on Facebook. I don't put all my, my personal life on Instagram. But my journals, my video journals on YouTube definitely get my truth so if they wanted to know anything about me or what's going on they could have just watched the video or they could have just talked to me but me knowing the truth about them they don't really like me they never really liked me at one point they tried to but i guess i wasn't up to their standards and because of the situation with my kid's father because it is his people they never really cared for him he was like what came with the husband, which is their grandfather. I feel like it was always divided amongst them. They singled him out, him and uh, his sister on his mama's side. They singled them out because they belonged to their daddy, and their daddy remarried a woman. And her kids is really what matters. And I say that because I've witnessed it firsthand. <laughs> Like, we went up there one Christmas, and all, I wasn't with my kids' father at the time, because I was pregnant with Lucy, so we was already at our odds, but I was still supportive of him, and we had to still put on that image that we were okay, even though I spoke the truth, I let him know what was going on. When we was up there, they gave, they never bought us gift from the heart they just gave us what they had around the house which was the avon stuff she sold and i never cared i thought about it but i never cared about it or put no care into it because i'm not i'm not ungrateful i will point out the obvious but i will accept that gift she gave him some little avon earrings too and like a I guess body wash stuff she, she gave me a bag of body wash stuff with the earrings and gave him the same thing all the other kids that was hers got gifts like the, all of them got fire sticks they didn't give us one and when I'm not saying it as in like a, a ungrateful way, but me and him had this talk about him being singled out. 
And that's the only reason why I'm speaking on it. He said it's always been like that. He would get in trouble for stuff her kid would do. Because she got a son that's right under him. And they used to go out and do stuff as teenagers. But only he would get in trouble. And I seen that that Christmas when I was pregnant with my daughter. Which made me look at them all the way different. Because it's like, you swear when I'm talking to you and I'm telling you our faults in our relationship thinking you on my side you you're taking up for him oh well he's a man let a man be a man but when he comes to his birthday or christmas and stuff like that like he get the short end of the stick adrian never gave a fuck which is his sister she never really gave a fuck but my kid's father always did he wanted to be accepted by them he wanted like so much from them he really wanted his father but he knew she came with it so that drove like him and his father to have like this weird relationship like because they're men it goes different than it's supposed to they do good for a minute and then they just clash but i know that's due to him not being able to tell his father how he really feel about everything so it's starting to show with my kids. I said all of that because it's starting to show with my kids. And I didn't want to hurt my 13-year-old feelings, but I had to tell her the truth of what she's dealing with. Like I always tell her, I would never speak down about your people because these are your people. And I want you to build your own relationship with these people, your own ideas about these people, your own feelings about them. I don't want to tarnish or taint anything. But if you ever come to me and say, anything how you feel and it's related to what i know if you ask me i will tell you and that's what happened today i end up having to show her a, a video that i made on youtube and it hurt my feelings but she took it better than i thought like she was like oh yeah that's the truth my like i've been seeing that and she just started telling me all the stuff that she was scared to tell me when she used to be up there how they treated her and how things was different amongst her and she sounded just like her daddy like all the stuff she was saying was some of the stuff he had told me that goes on and he said he felt like it was because she wasn't i mean he wasn't her biological parent he only belonged to her husband that's how he said it to me he like i don't think she ever liked us i think she only accepted us because we came with her husband but she never cared for us and i believe that's true for two reasons and they may not admit it because these are the type of people that try to make everything look good even when they have a problem with it they try to paint a really pretty picture and it's like no i bro this is what it really is i'm not this ain't that because image is everything to them they portray to be something they they're really not they don't show their nasty side i show mine if you ask me i'm telling you the raw truth they never did that they pretended to be my friend i've heard them talk about me before i never spoke on it i've sat and talked to her husband about my my relationship and what i'm dealing with and i know some of the things he didn't go back and tell her because it was his son he was more embarrassed that his son was doing this shit to me than me having to go through it or him trying to tell me i'm lying like he was always on my side so i kept a private connection with him i never held anything against him i only think i was mad at is that he never really spoke of her actions or how she is because he loved her and he probably don't see her that way. Which, like I said, ultimately, I really didn't, I didn't fully hold him responsible. I just felt some type of way like, bro, you got to say something to her. Don't stay mute. These are your kids. And grandkids. Because my daughter told me a situation where her auntie choked her and she couldn't find her phone to call me. And it was supposed to not be mentioned to me. Like, don't put your hands on my daughter in that way. Then she told me about when her step, when her grandfather's wife told her she would break her arm if she ever pulled a knife on her. All because my daughter pulled a knife on her daddy out of a reaction of him hitting her in the face with a shoe. 
they don't they only heard his story they don't want to believe my story because i was fighting his ass back i'm not letting no man put their hands on me and i'm just taking it like oh man gonna be me and no bitch i'm gonna shoot you i'm gonna do what i gotta do to get you off me i don't give a fuck about fighting and because of that because i'm a detroit girl and i'm a little hood and i have my demeanor about myself a part of me feel like I intimidated them in a little bit. They knew they couldn't fight me. So they tried to use my kids to to get to me. Like at one point, they were asking me to give them my oldest daughter and let her live up there while I get myself together. And it's like, yeah, that sounds good, but hell no. I need that break, but uh, no, we gonna take turns. Y'all gonna get her for a couple months. I'm gonna get her for a couple months. If that cannot be the room, then the rule, then leave me the fuck alone. I'm not giving you something I carry for nine months. I'm not full of custody. Y'all got me fucked up. I'm not a deadbeat mama. I know I'm struggling, and I got my shit going wrong. But I'm willing to fight through this with my motherfucking kids. And because I stood on that for seven, her first seven years of her life. It kind of showed them. I, like I said, I would hear the shit they had to say, and I had to talk with Adrian. And it was a hard to hurt about all of the shit that goes on up there. And a lot of stuff I knew because of their father told me. It's just she was confirmed. He was such a liar. I didn't believe some of the stuff. But she confirmed it. And it's like, yeah, y'all ain't tripping these motherfuckers. She treat y'all like that because you belong to her husband and not because you belong to her. Like... That Christmas with Lucy showed him a lot. And I, I hated to show him the truth, but I had to point out all the obvious. She didn't get you nothing but a doll and told you it was you. A fucking doll. She didn't get no none of her other kids a doll but him. Like he was a fucking kid. And I see where his kid mentality come from because that's how they treat him up there. And it's like... When you speak on it, it's like, oh, no, that's not it. He just be doing this, and he needs to grow up. And it's like, bro, when he try to grow up, y'all knock him down for it. So he do the stupid shit to get y'all attention. All he wanted to do was impress his daddy. His daddy. And he, he never liked her, but he dealt with her because it was his daddy's wife. And his daddy was with this woman that his daddy was happy with. And his happy wife, happy life, so... If they ever sat in therapy, somebody gonna be fighting her. It's the wife. I never, I always said I never want to be that wife because if I meet a guy and he come with kids, I want to accept his kids as well as my own. I'm not gonna single none of them out. I'm gonna be hard on mine, just I'm like I'm gonna be hard on his. I might not say as much to his. I will tell it to him. But I will. Let them know that all oh, y'all are the same in my house. If I treat mine as I treat y'all. If I can't do for all, I won't do for none. Everybody is the same in my book. But yeah. My reality of talking to my teenager and letting her know where her people is and her being confused and hurt as into why they would want to take pictures of our house and what are they real intentions. Having that conversation with her lets me know how mature she really is and i said it on my other video like i i can hear the pain behind it but talking to her today it's some pain it's not the pain i thought she had she has some pain but it ain't that deep she really on the side of just like wow this who y'all are okay let me do my digging into why this is why you are and yeah she see <laughs> Everything I was seeing, she just got closer details than I do because she did her people. She get to spend time with her that I don't get to spend. But we do see the same shit, so I know I wasn't tripping. And I'm, like I said, I'm proud of my 13-year-old because she's a strong woman already. And she's just 13, be 13 next month. And it's just like, it's a parent moment where I get to pat myself on the back, but I also get to be hurt that it's my child going through it. like the way she handle it and the way she talk about it. it's like pat yourself on the back because you did that she's smart because of you 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 stay here in her ass you stay honest with her you stay talking to her telling her the real and now she see 
everything you was trying to tell her without you telling her directly. And yeah, I could smile and I could be thankful for that. As far as her father, she did open to me about his situation, but she don't look at him no different. She's just mad he chose not to be her father. And I get it. I grew up without one, but mine has passed away. Hers is here. He grew up without his father. He didn't get back in his father's life till he was 16. And it's been turmoil ever since. Because they don't see eye to eye, and he won't tell him his hurt. But yeah, I'm going to end this video, I guess, right there. Because I had a good Sunday so far. I slept most of the day. I'm just not waking up. And I spent the morning with my love, so I'm going to say goodbye with this one.